Welcome to the day after the crash for the crypto market. We're going to analyze Solana today on the daily and the weekly, cover a little bit, a few other assets, performance or rebound. So after a big sell-off, usually there's a recovery and stronger assets recover quickly. Solana is my favorite one for this 2024 and 2025 bull run. Yes, corrected from 190 to 110 in a matter of a few days and now it's back to 140. That what happens when you have great assets. We're still within that trading range between 120 and 200 or Solana. So we are on the bargain side of the price and the trend line for Solana. I'm just gonna give you a few numbers here from my crypto.com app of current performance of some of the coins that I have. So the numbers are a little higher here on the crypto.com app. I'm guessing the period in which it calculates it, it's a little different from TradingView. TradingView, Solana is up almost 8% and here is 25%. So it depends on the period that you're looking at, but Kronos coin up 15%. Why do I have Kronos? Is because I have the crypto.com app. That's pretty much it. It's not one of the main positions that I have. Milady Meme Coin up 16%. Bitcoin over 8%. Jupiter almost 21%. Shiba Inu 23%. Doge 18%. Pepe 30%. Floki 19%. Bonk 24%. Doc with Hat 27%. Solana, like I indicated, 25%. Did you sold your coins yesterday? Did you lost coins due to leverage yesterday or the day before? Well, if you did, you already missed the bounce. If we don't correct further, you're going to have to enter the market at a higher price. So that's what leverage does to you. That's what panic does to you. If you don't have the experience to tolerate the four cycles of Bitcoin, these things will happen and will happen often. Can you expect them? No. Do you have to deal with them? Yes. It's easy? No. My portfolio was down 50% at one point, has now recovered even. I'm under 50 now, recovering quickly. So amateurs were getting liquidated or panic selling and the pros were accumulated. We're accumulating Solana at 110, 115, 120, 125 because they knew that that was a nice base, a nice opportunity to get more Solana coins. Nobody knows what will happen in the future. We could have a few corrections like that in the coming weeks, or we go straight back to 200. Nobody knows. But what, can I, what I can tell you is that the Fed is in big trouble right now. It's going to need to support the economy, especially with the election coming in November. So the Fed will be pressured to do something, and it Whatever they, they do is going to help risk asset, high-tech stocks, disruptive stocks, Bitcoin, crypto will be favored and they will push upwards. Keep in mind, however, that Bitcoin does not need any macro support. It just does its thing regardless. So we are in the region where we could be in the last corrections or last chance to get Bitcoin at a cheap price. And after that, it's going to go into the parabolic section of its growth. It's always been like that for the last clearly two cycles. Now, if we do it again, this time it's going to be three times. And this will bring a lot of altcoins upwards, especially the ones that are very, very strong, like Solana. Many people are talking about a Solana like a scam, that it's all internal trading and things like that. I have my opinion on it. The chart tells me that this asset is one of the strongest ones. If you look at the charts of Bitcoin, Solana, BNB, for example, these are the most and the strongest assets that we have in this market. The others are lower. So just that, besides looking at what's behind the coin, tell me that the buyers believe in these projects are buying these coins, supporting these coins, and are helping the coin stay upwards and perform better than anybody else. That's just charts and price action. It has nothing to do with what's behind. Some people know more about 
Solana than me. Some people know less about Solana than me, but the charts really give you a big picture of what's going on, of those who know, who know things about Solana and those who don't. And that's what I like about charting is that insiders cannot hide behind the chart and do things because the chart will reflect what's going on on the buy side and on the sell side. And it's always going to give you a fair view of the asset. If an asset is correcting right now, it means that it's a poor asset or a very poor asset. And it, if it didn't rebound, then it's weaker than the others who have rebounded. That's pretty much it. So you need to look into these panic regions to see how your asset behaves. If you have an asset that is red right now when everything is rebounding, it's a red flag. Something's wrong. Something's going on. So look into it to be in the right assets for the remainder of 2024 and 2025. August and September could be rough. They're not gonna, they're usually not the greatest months for risk assets, but November, December are going to be great. January, February also. And I'm believing that until June, 2025, we could see that explosive move from Bitcoin. If we repeat what happened in the last two cycles. And if we do, then everybody will take notice a lot more people are looking at Bitcoin right now. Some are quite disappointing, disappointed about the correction that we had right now. But the Bitcoin market cap, it's still very low in relationship to other assets. And that's why it's correlated to the stock market. When it's going to grow 10 times, 20 times, 30 times what it is right now, it will not behave the same way because of its size. So it's going to be less and less correlated with the stock market and be more independent and do its thing once the size of the asset is strong enough. That's what I'm expecting in the next 8, 12, 16 years for Bitcoin. But I see nothing who's going to stop this asset going forward. So Solana is rebounding extremely well. Here, some people were lucky enough to get it at 110, 120, 130 even. Now we're at, we are at 140. We're still below 160, which I think it's bargain to get into. We are charging towards the MA200 and MA50. We're gonna bounce back strongly. We could correct again, yes. Be aware of that. So if you're able to get more Solana around 120, 130, I would jump on those coins because it could be a real bargain for the next year and a half, year and one quarter. Solana has been one of the strongest assets in 2024, will continue and it's proving it right now with its performance. Yes, we got a correction, but everything corrected, include Bitcoin, and now we are seeing who rebounds and who doesn't. On the weekly chart for Solana, we see that we touch exactly the MA50 on the weekly chart. It's uncanny. I cannot make this up. You see it clearly here. We almost touched the MA50 and bounce back. So people are looking at the weekly chart for Solana. I can tell you that to react and see where they should buy coins. Very, very important support at 120 that we just wicked and held. So this support is going to be a strong one. That's why I said buy anything around 120. It's a bargain for Solana at this time. The MA200 also is going up to the right. So the momentum of the coin is up. We could go back to 200 fairly quickly. We will see how the coin will behave. But I'm staking Solana right now. So every week I'm getting staking rewards. So I'm getting Solana. It's like DCAing every week, a little bit, every single time. And when I can, I add up those new additions of coins to my staking reward and get more. And I plan to do this until June, July of 2025 and see how the market is. I may sell some Solana at that point or may not, depending on what the price action will be. We could be in a situation that Solana will dominate and you know, eat up Ethereum completely. In that case, maybe sell, you know, 5% of my position or something like that at one point just to be safe and get profits so that if we get a major correction, I do not lose a lot of money and I recover my position. But 
I'll be staking and adding through for the next year pretty much every single week 52 weeks of staking and I'll add up that to my bag and I'll potentially buy more here and there but anything around like I said $120 it's a barking right now the chart is extremely good for Solana we are still trading between 120 and 200 like I indicated and yes we corrected but we held extremely strong and now it's time for a strong rebound we will see what we will do keep that in mind but the great, great assets always do great rebounds the stronger assets always rebound very very well so just look at the performance of Solana regarding versus the other crypto assets and see who performs better yes some are riskier and they will correct more and rebound more but if you look at the top 10 top 15 of uh, altcoins see who's performing better than anybody else those coins will perform well for the end of 2024 and 2025 keep that in mind stay calm stay away from leverage keep your coins stake if you can not financial advice I'm doing that to DCA that's pretty much my logic behind it I want to add more coins as I can and accumulate as much as I can Solana is one of my biggest positions why because it has performed extremely well it has returned a lot of alpha to my portfolio and I'm extremely happy with the performance many updates for Solana are coming that could give the coin even more advantages in the crypto world once they're here we're gonna cover them in the channel and see their impact on the price section of the asset if they push them if they push the price of the coin even higher then good for us that's how i see things so see you all on the next video hit the like put some comments there and questions subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss these updates and happy trading